everybody, this is Candy Girl, and I've got an empties video for you. So, um, there are a couple of Dollar Tree items here, but a majority of everything here is from, like, my local supermarket, my Rite Aid, my CVS. I just buy food from random places, so let's get into it. These were Lucky Charms Frosted Flakes, family size box, big box. Wasn't too fond of it. Very low on the marshmallows. And if there were mar there were marshmallows, of course, the Lucky Charms marshmallows, but they were pretty much scarce. I mean, the first couple of bowls you have, you're not going to really get any marshmallows. It's like they sank all to the bottom. You get to the bottom of the, bo of the box and there are marshmallows on the bottom. And I'm not really a fan of Frosted Flakes anyway, but I figured, well, with some Lucky Charms, it is Lucky Charms marshmallows, it should be pretty good. So this was cheap anyway. I think it was like $3 and change or so at Walmart. And uh, yeah, I won't be buying these again. Werther's Original Caramel Apple. This is from Dollar Tree. I love these where I will pay whatever price for it, no matter what, wherever. And I just happen to see a Dollar Tree. So in love with these, I will buy these again. These are Jelly Belly Belly. Jelly Belly. Jelly beans. This is the Valentine uh, mix. And um, yeah, these were like 11 cents or so at my local stop and shop after Valentine's Day clearance sales. So I don't know if you could see that. So that had pink, hot pink, and white. And these were pretty good. I don't know if you could see that. Can you see that? Sparkling bubblegum, sparkling cream soda, and sparkling berry cherry were the flavors. So that was really good. That's a cute little box. Okay. So these were chicken pot stickers from the Dollar Tree. These were very good to me. A cute little, well, only six of them came in here, but it was very cute and tasty. I microwaved them first just to get it started. I have a habit of doing that. When something's frozen, I kind of defrost it or pre-cook it in the microwave, and then I throw it in the oven or the pan, wherever it needs to go next. So microwaved it first, and I put a little olive oil in the pan. And because uh, I don't like mushy dumplings, I like crispy, like how they have it here. They're a little brown. Little olive oil in the pan, browned it on each side, used the sauce, and these are pretty good. So if you want a quick meal, whatever, easy, simple, there you go. Chicken pot stickers from Dollar Tree. From Dollar Tree, this is a repeat purchase. It's the Reach Essentials Anti-Cavity Fluorite Rinse Tooth uh, Mouth... Oh, I can't talk. Mouthwash. Sorry, guys, if I'm talking a little weird. Uh, I don't know if you notice it or not. I just came from the dentist not long ago. I had some fillings done. So, yeah, I'm just feeling tired and out of it and hungry. This is alcohol-free. It still kind of burns your mouth. I noticed that some alcohol-free stuff still burns. So, I don't know. I think, isn't that the whole purpose of it being alcohol-free is that you don't get a burn in your mouth? But I still do. I don't know how well this really worked because I still had gotten me some cavities. So, I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, uh, Johnsonville turkey cheddar sausages. These were fully cooked um, from one of my supermarkets. I don't remember. And these weren't so great. They weren't bad, but they weren't so great. They pretty much did not taste like a sausage. And I'm scratching my face now where I had the, <laughs> um, the right side of my mouth where I had the fillings done. And I can't feel my face because I'm numb. Anyway, um, they're just basically like big hot dogs, and they're kind of salty. There's not much cheese in it. It's not that they were nasty. They just, I don't know, they weren't all that great. I wouldn't buy these again, but if you're interested in something like this and you, you don't eat beef or whatever, you can try it. But like I said, they weren't bad. They just weren't that great to me. I just thought it sounded good because it's turkey cheddar. So Johnsonville turkey cheddar smoked sausages. This is from um, one of my pet stores. Blue Wilderness Cat Treats. These are like a wet, kind of chewy um, cat treat. Not dry. My cats love this. I do grain-free. That's all I give is my cat. My cat is grain-free food. It's supposed to be healthier for them. Uh, chicken flavor. And they love it. And it was $2.99 for a bag. And they love these. So, Blue Wilderness Cat Treats. Um... CVS low dose aspirin with enteric coating and enteric coating is good if you have stomach issues or you have a sensitive stomach so you get pills with enteric coating and that helps protect your stomach because you know they have a lot of pills and stuff that are not coated and if or you have trouble swallowing pills 
get some insert coating and you know you're supposed to take aspirin uh daily a baby aspirin daily for to protect your heart or so 81 milligrams this is the Nestle Toll House Limited Edition Raspberry Crumble Cookies. These were pretty good. I got these two months ago or so at Stop and Shop. These are pretty good. They're kind of uh, crunchy and chewy, which I love. I love crunch, uh, chewy cookies with a little bit of crunch. These are pretty good, pretty easy to make. And this was limited edition, so I'm just showing you guys anyway. So there you go. There's the filling. There's a the little oatmeal on top. You don't have to put the fill it on the oats on top if you don't want to but they were pretty good these oscar meyer turkey provolone slider melts eh it wasn't that i wasn't that fond of it they didn't put enough provolone cheese in it not enough to it's like there's more bun than meat and cheese um i just let it sound good maybe i just let it look good <laughs> so because i'm trying to eat not so much red meat now so I, that's why i got the turkey sausages and the turkey slider so yeah so there we go so if you want to try it go ahead but i'm just letting you know that i wasn't very fond of it yeah i don't know maybe because i'm not used to melted provolone cheese i'm i usually eat cold provolone so maybe that was it but there you go we have these purdue that's oh, a bag of purdue this was frozen 26 ounce bag uh, general so's glazed chicken chicken oh i can't talk chicken breast chunks with rib meat with the teriyaki ginger style sauce these were okay i mean um because it's frozen it's pre-cooked and then frozen and then you recook it again i guess it's just better to just get freshly made general so chicken from your local chinese restaurant <laughs> but if you're if you want to try it and you want something quick you can go for it it wasn't bad but it wasn't that great i don't think i would buy it again though so there we go and i'm all about the purdue because it has got no antibiotics so i try to buy um chicken and eggs and stuff as most as i most as i can with no antibiotics so we have these cookies from dollar tree these are european lemon flavored shortbread cookies a big no thumbs down hate it no dry Hardly, hardly no flavor, and I am not a fan of shortbread cookies, but I figured I'd give it a try anyway because it had lemon. No, 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 no. They look good. No. Me and my roommate took a bite, threw it out right away, and just put the box right in the empties basket. So back in the trash. Yep. Okay, we have these I got for Valentine's Day. These were super good. Limited edition heart-shaped box. This is all I want. I'm not really into those fancy, like, um, uh boxes anymore i don't know i'm just over it i just wanted this and that's it these were limited edition strawberries and cream little cookies white chocolate truffles it was good uh it melted pretty fast though that's the only thing that sucked but uh this box is really cute i don't know maybe i could do something with it that's what they look like in the wrapper. They might actually still sell this now but actually before i actually saw this they actually were selling it in a box bag or something like that no a bag because this is a box so they might actually still sell us now just without this heart-shaped box so i'm gonna look for it because this looks good and it was only 4.99 that's what i wanted okay so we have dollar tree cotton candy these are cute they're really good jelly bean flavor and this was i don't know cotton candy flavor <laughs> really good i loved it um these containers are awesome just like the um halloween uh cotton candy which i was in love with i kept the containers you can store a lot of stuff in here really good those are a keeper put those over there with my bunny and my frog <laughs> then we have these from dollar tree nutty naturals yogurt cranberries um, I guess I forgot how much I don't really like yogurt covered stuff. It's not that it was nasty. I'm just the yogurt covered stuff, chocolate and whatever. It's not, I'm not really a fan of it. It's a little bitter, but it wasn't nasty. It was just, it was a snack. So not bad though. I wouldn't buy it again, but, and last but not least, we have some stuff from Michael's, which I bought these a while ago, maybe two years ago, but this is the Craft Smart. um, acrylic paint just a little two ounce bottle 
you see there might be a little something in there but whatever um this was great and this was the corn silk color it's kind of like a butter yellowish color i don't know if you could see that this was really good paint and i did i painted you can see that up there the love sign from dollar tree i painted the little butterflies on top that and then the red one the brick red color who is the camera there it is brick red i used to paint the sign so there you go and there goes this i bought i painted those letters i got from ebay and they were like pure white and i wanted it to be a dark red so that's what i did with it you zoom in and see how it looks so that's what i did with that and i've also painted other stuff and i think these were 94 cents 98 cents something like that so yeah i mean you know if you have bigger projects you probably want to go for a bigger bottle but this i had something i had limited money and i wanted to paint something so i was just trying it out for the first time so these were great and it's like a dry mate type of finish not like a shiny whatever and i think this one was premium satin so this was more like a shiny look to it but they have all different um types of paint and stuff for whatever your project is i don't really go to michael's all that much i wish i could did but um i gotta go back next month for another project i need to do but these are the paints i was very happy with these so all right everybody that is it thank you for watching my empties video and if you have any questions or comments leave it down below don't forget to subscribe please give me a thumbs up if you like this and i will talk to you soon stay sweet bye